Uh, we get a chance to see Tua in the starting lineup this this week. Shout out to my guy, Roll Tide, Alabama, undefeated right now uh, in, in in college football. Um, Ryan Fitzpatrick, Fitzmagic was actually playing really well, uh, you know, coming into this week's game. But Miami still decided to go with the youngin. Um, I guess they said, you know what? He's healthy. We drafted him where we did for a reason, and it's the time. The time is right, right now. Um, I personally, I wouldn't have minded if they waited a little bit longer, just because we've seen him deal with um, injuries, and it's not like Ryan Fitzpatrick was playing bad. He was actually playing uh, pretty good. I don't know, record-wise, the Dolphins, you know, three and three going into this week, but Ryan Fitzpatrick was actually playing really good. But nonetheless, we will get to see what Tua has in a starting uh, role this week. Um, what do you guys think? Does, does Tua, Tua impress in his first game as a starter? No. Um, they've got the Rams, who are a very good team. Yeah. Um, I think Tua will have his moments, but this is going to be his first real live game action in over a year. And so to go up against that defense, uh, Aaron Donald, who I personally feel is the best defensive player in all of football, uh, going up against Jalen Ramsey, who's probably the best cornerback in all of football, that's going to be a tough first game for him. Um, and I, and I, I got to give a lot of props to Brian Flores, the head coach of the Dolphins, because most coaches would have stuck with Fitzpatrick knowing that, hey, we're three and three, we're kind of treading water, we're better than most people expected, and we're kind of in the mix for a playoff spot. And he said, no, our, our plan is to develop this young man because he's the future of the organization. And not only is he healthy, but we're playing good enough now where we feel he should start. So I commend him. I'm looking forward to it. But I think Tua is going to struggle in that first start. Yeah, he does have two yeah. there. But I won't. Um, I couldn't agree more. Um, I think that uh, the coach should have waited a couple more weeks. Maybe he was performing well um, at practice and say, hey, I think you're doing well. Now it's time. So for him to start, I think it's good for him to do it now because a lot of players aren't, um, aren't a lot of players aren't healthy. So I feel like during the COVID-19 pandemic, like it's a good time for him to start. I get it, you know, no time like the present. Again, they, they, they spent a very high draft pick on Tua. He is the future of this organization. And I guess since they're going into the bye week, they figure, you know, we got a good two weeks to really get him ready um, to go. But, you know, but yeah, like you said, Eric, it, it is going to be a tough one. Uh, the first game you're going up against a tough uh, Rams team. You know what I mean? So it's going to be a rough one. I hope he, he is able to, to, to come out and at least look good, whether or not they, they win the game. Cause I mean, we know Miami's is not a great team anyway, you know, they're three and three, uh, you know, right now, but it's not like we're talking about one of the top teams in football playing against the, against the, the, the Rams. Um, you know, they do have, have home, home field. I don't know if that really means much just because there's not really fans in the stands right now. So I'm not sure how, if that will actually have any type of effect on, on Tua and, and how he plays, but I, I do hope he does well. I hope he can stay healthy. Um, this is probably the worst uh, season we've had as far as injuries go, you know, and that, and that was one of the things that was talked about before the season even started. But when you're talking about a young guy who dealt with a couple of injuries in college, and we weren't even sure if he was back to 100%, um, you know, around the draft time, you know, so it's going to be interesting to see what he does. Um, but I, you know, I, I hope he, I definitely hope that, that he does well. This is Dion Grant from the New York Giants, Super Bowl champ. And you're watching Real Fans, Real Talk. Real fans, real talk, we as real as you thought.